It's a Wednesday. We've got a brand new weekly challenge. This time we are stepping down memory lane. So let's see what we got. Herschel's Farm, Kill All Walkers. Oh yeah, the set piece of season two. Uh, I'm not going to be using... The star hero today is Daryl. I'm not using him because I haven't got him leveled up. I don't think he's got the most amazing leadership trait. So I'm just using my farming team here. Ironically enough, for Herschel's Farm. So let's just see what we got. So this is a classic straight up kill everything that moves kind of deal. Uh, hunters start charged. That's that's pretty nice. I don't doubt that this has got some surprises for us. So we're going to have some walkers just popping out of nowhere. No, no. So what you see is what you get. What can I say? Pick a range team. Stay where you are. Pummel the enemy from a distance at range. And just kill them. Two turns. That wasn't a problem. Okay. As ever, if anyone has any dramas with any of these missions, just let us know in the comments. Um, me, the whole community, you know, will help out. I can't imagine anyone having any real struggles with that one. That just seems like an easy win. That just seems like easy points. Maybe I should have taken uh, Daryl along for that one. Kill room. Clear the room of lurkers. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try it. I, you know, this is this is this is kind of bonkers, but I mean, if it's gonna be this flipping easy, I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, let's take you guys. You know, I just wrote off any any idea that I might get those extra points. Aha! Uh -huh. So it is this one. Okay, this one can actually be pretty tricky. They. Those bad guys are a lot closer than you think they are. They can very click quickly close this gap. The only problem is, um, even if you are, you know, close combat characters, they can uh, they can swamp you pretty quickly. So this is a this is a, actually a surprisingly tricky one. I do recommend ranged characters. I do recommend weapons that can just stymie the enemy's movement, slow them down, cripple them, you know, root them, anything like that. But you better have a good setup because very quickly those uh, those walkers close in on you. You got a turn of free shots. You're going to get their attention. Then they're just going to just tear into you. Um, Make sure that you cover those corners. I think the best thing really is to get into one corner and, and then you have fewer avenues of approach that they can come at. It's not a big enough map where you can really run away from them or anything. It's a bit like the mission fish in a barrel in that way. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Just take stuff that hits really hard. Terminus, find loot. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to tempt fate. Yes, I'm using a less than 100% effective farming team, but I'm not going to bring a complete liability like an unmodified Daryl along. Not when we have things like tanks. Okay, let's get rid of him. What do we got? We got. Uh, we got a threat counter. You know, that uh, that creates a problem for noise-creating characters, ranged characters. We've got uh, an armoured guy and a tank on either side as well. So you got some tough characters, but you can't really make too much noise. You know, unless you're going to really just try to speed through this one, which may be possible. Just you've got lucky like that. Oh. We don't want to be giving away stars now, do we? Yeah, let's just get out of here. Yeah, so trying to rush through is an option as well. Glenn definitely helps with that kind of thing. 
Um, I always bring them along for these loot missions, as you know. Put him as the leader and then everyone could search a crate and still have an action left. Or open a door and still have an action left. So if you're struggling with this, just try that. It's a little bit of thinking outside the box. Put Glenn as your leader and see what happens. Killing zone, make your way to the exit. Okie dokie. Don't know which, uh, which memory this is representing. You know, it's, uh, it's called memory lane. I'm trying to think specifically where this is from. Oh, we've got a tank there hiding at the end. The fact that he's right at the end. I mean, when uh, you start the mission, they might start in slightly different positions to this, but fact is, this is a very big, long map. You have a lot of walkers that you've got to fight your way through. Uh, I mean, really, just, you know, you can bring your ranged characters, and there's not much reason to do anything else. They, uh, You're going to have the time... I guess if you rack up too much noise, that threat counter is ticking over really quite quickly. Rack up too much noise and you are going to wind up with a lot of walkers on your hand. But um, I won't be too concerned with that, honestly. Yes, you have a tank that you've got to take out. Everything else is just a normal squishy walker. So, so far... You know, there's there's nothing on there that's too difficult. I guess the one way you start off on the small map with the lurkers, they're quite close to you. You only have the two turns. Can't remember the name of that mission, but that one, yeah, that ain't that ain't that. That's the trickiest one. Woodbury, get the loot. Okay, the governor's house. Oh, what's this? Looks like we've got some humies. Okay, let's uh, let's switch this up just a little bit. Yeah, I still want that extra XP and everything that Maggie gives us. Definitely want the Starbound Rifle. That thing is, is just wonderful against humans. Let's hit you with that. You should be crippled. Why does it look like you aren't crippled? Okay, well, have that instead. So we got three humans right from the off. Something you always can do, of course. So we've got four humans right from the off. Something you always can do is, is sort of cripple them. You can let them get distracted by the walkers. Looks like that's kind of the, uh, the way to go with this. When you kill them, the walkers will be distracted because they'll be munching on those still worn corpses. It's tough though. Uh, looked like we had two ranged, um, two ranged, two close combat guys. Close combat guys, yes. There's lots of stuff where you can root them, you can cripple them, make it so that they just can't get to you. The ranged guys, you got to be a little bit cleverer. There is some cover here. So on the far left, just in front of the car, there's a piece of cover. And it's sort of just a little bit further in. Helps a lot if you've got something like sniper harness that affects you. But yeah, I mean, those those Humies, they're, they're pretty much well within range. So killing them if they've seen you and staying out of sight is maybe not such a bad idea. You know, staying outside if they haven't seen you. If they've already seen you, then it's not going to do any good. Shine a light. We already do this one. We can't have done this one. Get to the exit. Okay, yum yum. You're still in the mix. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be sanctuary. Terminus. That's it. Terminus. Definitely one of the most interesting sort of bits, one of the most interesting plot lines in the uh, in the show. That brutal haven for cannibals, and here we are trying to waltz on through. No actual 
individuals from Terminus here. Aha! We have a tank. We have pretty quick uh, threat counter. That's that's racking up pretty quickly. Something to definitely be aware of. That and having a flat phone. Okay, I'll charge it up in a minute. Okay, so uh, range character is definitely an option on this one. Stay at distance, pummel them. There's there's really only two tricky missions here. The ones with the humans and the ones with the lurkers where the walkers start very close to you. Um, hopefully now that you can see what to expect, exactly what enemies are there. I've gone through some suggested tactics, but if you do struggle then please do let us know. At least you know what to expect having watched this video. If you do have any fantastic tips that you would like to share with anybody, just in case they are struggling, then that's always welcome. Some people have come up with some amazing hints for some challenging missions um, on these over the years. Otherwise, what can I say? Thanks for watching.